Taxes are going on. It's here for sale. Please stop. Property's going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold. Sold, sold. sold new again. Congratulations. House prices across the country hitting record highs, growing at their fastest pace in almost 18 years. Why? Money is cheap. Money is the cheapest it's probably ever been. Our interest rates are at historic lows, and so people can borrow more money than they ever have been able to before. Sydney's median house price is now an eye-watering $1.3 million. Melbourne not far behind. Even the traditionally more affordable cities are setting records. It does not look like it's slowing down anytime soon. Look across the ditch where New Zealand house prices have gone up 20-25% in a year. Rents too are soaring, with a 3.2% rise over the March quarter, the biggest in 14 years. It's left minimum wage earners able to afford just 1.2% of rental listings. And as for welfare recipients... JobKeeper and the coronavirus supplement have ended, and at the same time, eviction bans have ended as well. So you're looking at a bit of a storm here for people trying to secure affordable housing. A report out today found that of the 74,000 rentals analysed, just three listings in the entire country were affordable for a single person on JobSeeker. Zero were affordable for singles on youth allowance. What we're seeing is a lot of people signing up to leases that they know they can't afford. We're seeing people preparing to live in their cars, and we're seeing other people who are just preparing for homelessness. With housing affordability at an all-time low, advocates and economists alike are pleading for action. Because of some of the tax settings we have, we've turned property into a tool of wealth generation rather than perhaps thinking about it as a place to house people. Building more equality into the housing market will take action and it will involve some really tough questions about what we value and what we're willing to change. That last point from Dan Ziffer is the key point. Mm. Like Once you turn property into wealth generation, this is where you end up and it's basically a recipe for mass homelessness because... Yeah. And, and the problem with it is that once you're in the property market, like if you own a home, you start cheering on increased property prices when it probably doesn't even help you. Like if, if you don't have an investment property, say you've only got a residential property and your the value of your property goes up, you sell it, well, that's great, but you've got to go buy another house, which has also gone up. So you don't even, it, it's just this hamster wheel. If you're stuck just on the outside trying to get in, like a lot of my friends are trying to get into the market at the moment and they're going to auctions week after week, trying to get into the market, um, uh, the houses are clearing for three, three hundred, four hundred thousand above the listing price. The emotional roller coaster of going through that, you know, putting yourself in the shoes of living in that house and then seeing it blow out of proportion. It's, um, you know, uh, I guess dusting off the uh, boots and going back to the well every time gets harder and harder. Yeah, it's got to be unsustainable oh, at this rate. A hundred thousand in three months is yeah. crazy. It is. Yeah. Anyway, moving on now, and Lucy Small is making some big waves.